the gospel that Simeon preaches to the present day church. The gospel that Simeon preaches the present day church. That's why I said, from 33 on we're going to read. But let me first cover this profoundly. Then as we advance the reading, now you see, we, 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 we advance the reading, the revelation and thereof, right? Are we together? Am I hurting somebody with too much knowledge? Someone says, I have a headache. Is someone having a headache on this? No, no. Not at all. Enriching is the word, right? So that you may preach with authority and confidence. Oh, yes. And when you're preaching with authority and confidence, people say, wow. That pastor knows where he's taking us. Yes. Not somebody browsing left and right without knowing where, right? Yeah, knows where he's taking us. Hallelujah. So now, the gospel he preaches to the church, this is big now, this one here. And you are going to preach it, that, that's now the subtitle, right? And you are going to give it in that order. Yes, so you are thorough people, a top lawyer, the best lawyer is the one that nothing slips out of his fingers. And we are lawyers here. We are dealing with the law, right? Don't allow anything slip from your fingers, right? Hallelujah. Hey, the gospel he preaches hey, number one the Holy Spirit came upon him that's number one just write as I write and then I'll explain things okay because of time the Holy Spirit promised him that he would bear witness he would be a witness and rather he would witness the coming of the Messiah the firstborn of heaven right those are key components of that gospel. Very, very key. The skeletal structure, the backbone, right? Yeah. The Holy Spirit promised that as a revelation unto him. Meaning, reveal to him, hey, 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 soon the Messiah is coming, you will not die until you see. Reveal to him. In any case, this visitation was going to be the revelation of God. Right? Step by step. The other point, Simeon was a priest to whom Jesus was brought. Was the priest to whom Mary brought her firstborn son. <laughs> What a prof what a see what what a significant person and almost went like that unnoticed in the Bible. Silent. And yet key, 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 key. Key. Can I mention other things about Simeon? He said, huh? And Simeon is the one that received the five pieces of silver. Simeon, in other words, is the one that did what? Expli ah, please. You're not copycats. I, I was trying to excite you, to, to, to test you. Whether you're just writing or you're with me. It's important to follow, to understand also, right? Yes. I know we have this kind of problem with the 844 system, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm aware. I may not be there, but I'm aware. Because, you know, the other system matured us also. When you reached from 6, you were also by age mature. And you followed certain dogmas <laughs> of academia, right? But now I hear you cannot even fail people. They cannot repeat a class. You'll be taken to court, right? Ah, oh, I was shocked by that. What, where is the impetus for exams? Zero, right? I, meaning I can just fool around, I'll pass. Wee, 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 wee. That's why I was trying you people. This was a priest. This was the priest of God. The only thing they may have paid is the doves. Why? Look at this now. Everybody focus on me. Let me explain this. He says, this is the priest to whom Mary brought Jesus, brought the Messiah. And look at this now. Meaning, when they brought the Messiah, Look at this now. Everybody focus here. Oh, I think I may have to 
rewind so to make so you don't lose anything but can i first finish and then i rewind when they brought the messiah to him what we have read from verse 27 for coming down he says he ran and beheld him took him in his hand when he took him in his arm arm brother then he must have blessed the life of the messiah wow what a man bless the life of the messiah and his ministry why 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 what a significant person in the bible huh blessed the life of the messiah and then blessed his ministry and told him now you can go do it wow what a significant person in the bible we did not yet talk about almost went to heaven without talking about him huh how we would have to this man is significant he has a gospel to the church a serious gospel can i describe some few things here because i don't want to put all this can i describe some few things okay let me just read because they're forward right he says simeon was the one tipped to reveal the messiah unto the nations Can I explain this now? After you've written that? You people, we need to move because there are big pieces there. Are many, we are far away. We are far away. Can, I, can, I, can you handle me? Can, can I handle you people in this manner? Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Dr. Zachary, that's why I want you here. Dr. Katsboy, I want you here. Because of this. Because it's, you can never miss to take this. When you go preach, you preach this. And they will grow in the knowledge of the Christ. Now look at this now. I sat down and I begin to think and look at the entire architecture of the temple. The entire architecture. And look at what I saw. Look at what I saw. What I, saw. I saw, number one, that the Hebrew woman Wears a hat. A hat. I'm talking about Hasidim, the Orthodox, the religious. Wears a hat. Why? Because she is not allowed to show her hair to any other human being except her husband. Thank you for writing, those who are writing. The second thing I found out is that when you look at the architectural design of the temple, the synagogue, the temple of the Lord, this is what you saw. You found that there was the main sanctuary, right? And of course, the Holy of Holies and name it. But I'm talking about, the, let me just call it the main sanctuary, where the main service is, you know? But women were not allowed to go into the temple with their hair hanging. That's why they covered their hair. Why? Because hair is a feminine part of a woman. I'm talking about women's hair. A woman's hair. Hallelujah. And I think they invest quite a bit on their hair sometimes, right? The only bad thing they do, they buy this hair that the Indians offer in their temple to their God, they shave and offer. Then it's exported to Africa. And that part hurts me. That's the part that touches my heart. Quite a bit. <laughs> huh? <laughs> they offer to their gods and then you wrap it on your head. And you now think you are another person. And I say, remove that hair first. So we see which person this is. It is you. <laughs> Not here, right? Never. So, hair is a feminine part of a woman. And listen. Hands covered in the temple. Another point. Women were not allowed to enter the main sanctuary. 
follow this. I'm building a case here. They were not allowed to enter. I'm building the gospel of Simeon to the church. They were not allowed to enter the main sanctuary. So, that's why the architectural drawing, design of the temple had the main sanctuary and then you had the out court. The out court was the court of women. So they were there because if they entered the temple, it was said they would distract men and men would fall. Which is true. It happens in the church. Which is very true. It happens in the church. That's where the church has fallen from until there is sexual sin in the house. Right? So there is real credence to this justification. Right? That if they entered inside, they would distract worship. Because all of a sudden, a woman can begin doing this. Look. With her hair, just doing this and doing that. And worshipping and leaving some hair to come between one eye. No, they do this. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do that. And it's evil. Yeah, they do that. That's now the devil has climbed them. Now listen to this now. So, men worshipped in the main sanctuary. Women, women were where? Women were in the court of women. And at that place also was the court of Gentiles. Gentiles never ever entered. So women never entered. Gentiles never entered. So when the Bible says that moved by the Spirit, Simeon who had been waiting and watching, the two words, waiting and watching for many, many, many years. We're going to talk about his age very soon. And he must have been very old in the way he spoke. Simeon, and we don't know how long, who had been waiting and watching, meaning all the time checking, which baby? Which baby will it be? Huh? Looking for the firstborn of heaven. Right? Who is the mother who is going to bring a firstborn here? Checking. Right? Do you understand how powerful firstborn is? Who it is? It's deep. Listen to this. When you preach, preach deep. Huh? And he says, Simeon, who had been waiting and watching, 